All right, YouTube. So I was thinking, <laughs> this is dangerous. Oh, by the way, welcome to the shop. <laughs> Let's just jump right into it. No intro, no nothing. Let's get right to it. So on these, if you guys remember yesterday, I put in the tie down brackets, which are those guys right there. You can see them, right? And then what they do is they have you put in these brackets here on the plans. And if I go over here and kind of show you, so those are the brackets there, right? And they have you put them through the nut plate. Well, one thing I don't like, <laughs> this is a this is an attachment point, and it's pretty critical. Um, I know they go through the nut plate. I know they have all that um, and everything, but I'm a, th yeah, this is the two aileron bell crank bracket goes there. The aileron bracket, <laughs> bell crank bracket goes there. And this is what controls your ailerons. Um, they have you put these in. I, I, you know, I know guys will put torque validators on there, which you guys have seen me use before. The torque validators is when you torque those down, you put this waxy substance, let me see right here, on them, and that tells you if those bolts come loose. Well, um, those are going into the nut plates and everything. Um, can they come loose? Yeah. Possibly, and that's why there's an inspection plate. You don't see it, but there's an inspection plate right there, so you can inspect that. So, I'm going to take it one step further. Um, I have purchased this really cool jig, and what it does is it, as you guys can see, it drills a hole through this bolt. So what you do is you just see if I can do this one-handed. You put the bolt in the, in there and then you line it up and then you tighten this down and you got different size bolts, right? And this is made for aircraft. And then you proceed to drill through it and it puts a hole through it. So why would you put a hole in a boat? What, uh, bo bo boat. We're not building a boat, bolt. Well, it's so that when we put this back on, we can then run safety wire. So what you do is you run safety wire. So I can't put it on yet. I got to put a, a, a washer behind it. So then you run safety wire and the safety wire will keep it from loosening up. So you tie one to the other and you go in this pattern. So whatever direction it takes to loosen up. So in this case, this way would loosen up. So what you do is you want to run the safety wire this way so that it can't loosen itself up, right? So wherever, whatever direction that it goes in, in whatever direction the, the bolt has to go, righty tighty, lefty loosey, you 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 run the safety wire from one to the other in the opposite direction. And what that will do is it will always keep it from loosening up, one or the other from loosening up. And so that's a good. A good thing especially when you have two bolts together when you have a single one what you have to do is drill a hole in the part itself and then tie the safety wire through the part um, when you have a single one like that uh, you could actually do it on the other end too on the on the back side but a lot of so that's how I'm going to do it I notice so that way I know without a doubt this thing will never loosen up as long as that safety wire is there so like I said so this is a this is a jig, um, show it to you. So it's Quantum, Quantum makes them. Um, it's for aircraft, it's for safety wires. It doesn't have to be aircraft. And uh, so, yeah, so I'll do that. And then once I get them torqued, I'll run that safety wire and I'll show you what that looks like. I'm not gonna torque them today. I've got a better torque wrench coming. Um, I have that digital from AC Delco and it just doesn't, uh, I wasn't happy with There's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it, but I am building an airplane, so I want a little bit more precision. That's a little bit rough and stuff. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put these back on, but I wanted to show that to you. Um, you can safety wire these, and I would recommend it. I know vans don't, but hey, you know, do it's your plane. You do with what as you want. But uh, to me, 
because this is the access point here. You can see these nut plates, so there's an access point that you can get up in here. But I don't know about you. I don't want to have to be reaching up in here after the fact and, uh, and you know, and everything. This way I can just look with my mirror, my inspection mirror, know that the safety wire is still attached and uh, we're good to go. So, all right, I'll let you go. All right, so for those that are conceptually impaired, so that's what it looks like when it's in. I wanted to show you that. So you put your, your bolt through, you tighten this down, it's got a pilot hole, and then you take your drill. I, you know, I'd show that to you. <laughs> Some people are conceptually, uh, they, get, they, they, they have to see the picture. I do, I'm like that. So, uh, so I just wanted to show you, and then you proceed to drill that out. I can't do both, I can't hold on to the part and then take the video, but that's what I wanted to show you. That's what it looks like. All right, YouTube, there you go. You got the uh, the brackets in. I've got the um, all the bolts uh, cut out for safety wire. I will torque those down once I get my torque wrench in and everything. I will have to tell you that when using the um, the the tool, make sure you get a ton of um, bits. You probably, I found out I was breaking a bit pretty much every third one. Now, if I was doing this on a drill press, it would probably have been a lot different. Um, I was doing it with my normal drill. So, but just make sure you get plenty of drill bits. Um, you can go to like Fastnail or one of the local stores, your hardware store, whatever, and get a bunch of those cobalt bits. I would get cobalt for steel. Um, you know, when I, you know, just because it's like Mercedes, when you got the name behind it, aircraft, everything's going to be a little bit more expensive. So go to your, uh, your local, uh, aircraft, uh, box store, <laughs> parts box store, i.e. Home Depot. I don't know if you can buy the bits by themselves, but I know you can from fast now. So, um, so I'm going to get some extra ones. I did order some extra ones when I ordered the kit. That way I would have them. And I would kind of judge how well they would last. And I, I'll tell you, going through these bolts, um, they're pretty. Um, these are pretty strong bolts. These are ANs, right? So um, pretty, pretty strong ones. Uh, so I would, I would plan on you're probably going to burn through about three every third bolt, um, especially these AN fives. Now, I will tell you, if you can get the AN fives already with the safety wire holes drilled in them. I would get them. I would get about 50 of them because you're, this is a pretty common bolt. Um, the AN3-5s AN is pretty common and um, and everything. So I would get some just to have them. It'll save you, you know, some time. Um, like I said, you know, drilling each one of these out took some time off the project. Uh, as, uh, as Vans would say, stop adding stuff. <laughs> You'll never get done. But I think this is a good add. Uh, really is so what we'll do is righty tighty right so we'll we'll take a um, we'll take safety wire put it here wrap it around twist it right twist it and then righty tighty and then wrap it around so bring it this way I'm trying to think how I would do that so we'll bring it this way and if you go this way that will loosen so we're gonna have to bring it around yeah, I'm gonna have to think about this. So righty, righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. So you want it to go tight, so it's always pulling tight. So you're gonna, you're gonna put it here, wrap it, and then we want it to pull yep, around here and then pull. That way it's pulling this this way as well, so it's always tight. So there you go. So here, wrap around and then here, and that way it will always it will always be pulling to tightening. Uh, that's how I got to think about that. Righty tighty left to And we'll get into that when we get into the uh, safety wire portion of this, which I'll probably, like I said, I my torque wrench will be here. I got a different type of torque wrench, um, a little bit more precise. Um, so I'm going to get that when that gets here. We'll get these things torqued down between 1.6 and 2 foot pounds is what you what you need here. 1.6 to 2 foot pounds. So, uh, yep, we'll... Uh, like I said, we'll get that here and uh, we'll get it torqued down and, and we'll be good to go. But yeah, everything is looking good. Um, I'm going to clean up a little bit. Uh, my goal was to actually get uh, to start getting, we have some fluting that needs to be done. Um, 
some straightening. That concludes, by the way, that concludes those, that piece there will conclude this section. And now we're on the wing ribs, which are these guys. So I was gonna start pulling these guys out. I had my bench all cleared off because each one of these parts needs to be fluted. And you guys saw me do that on some other parts, but we'll, we'll revisit it again. But uh, yeah, we kind of burned through our two hours and, and everything, but I'm glad we did that. We did what we did. So it makes it a, a quality safe product. So yeah, I don't know what happened there. It just stopped uh, recording on me. So, um, so yeah, so we'll pull these parts out, uh, get these done and uh, we'll, you know, it'll be another day. It's one thing about building an airplane. There will be plenty to do every single day, but I am very happy that I put the safety wire. I got to use my jig, but I got, I got that safety wire in. Um, you know, it just makes, like I said, a safer, better product. So with that, I just want to say uh, comments, concerns, you know what to do. Leave them in the uh, comment section. And uh, like always, may God bless you. Keep you guys safe. All right, YouTube. So I want to make this quick. I, I forgot I have more to do today. So I got my painting table done. So I used chicken wire. I uh, got a four foot long by five foot length, or four foot wide by five foot long. Um, cut these boards four by three. And then in Florida, we use these hurricane clips whenever we're building a house. Oh my gosh. And so I put these on the bottom. You can probably get them at your, your box store to give it some rigidity. Um, I also did, not only did I do that, but I'll show you. I also screwed in the ends as well. And um, then I laid the... Uh, chicken wire crossed it and then stapled it down using a chicken wire staple and it's actually called that poultry staple poultry net staple and now I've got a table that I can put my parts on and I can spray and the air will go through the table instead of going and reflecting up and lifting the part off of the table so it's a really inexpensive uh, paint table, painting table for air, for air painting table. So, so I just wanted to share that with you. Very simple construction. Like I said, four foot long, three foot. You can make it whatever size you want. Um, this one, as you can see, I made it this size because it's manageable for me. Because I find myself in here most of the time by myself. And I can put it across the, the saw horses and it will work great um so yeah so just an idea another another thought another another idea for you